Okay. So, snuggle bug. First off, forgive me. I know I look like shit right now. A little bit of a lack of sleep, losing the vocals. Well, they're they're here, but barely. Um, I'm just gonna state facts because I believe each and one of us deserve and feel a need to feel loved or cared for. Some of us go through a lot more than others, and I'm just gonna. Sh I'm gonna quit beating around the bush. I'm just gonna share. What it is, but um, I know many of you do, Karen. But you know, I, I don't talk about my personal shit a whole lot anymore until I get pissed. Of course, y'all see me when I get pissed. That <laughs> that I have no patience for, and I just get enraged. I I have a temper, I admit. But um, guys, I try so hard not to talk about my pain or the things that help me anymore. I've tried so hard, and I, I try to remain in steadfast within my positivity and spread that to others. I do. And like I said, I, you know, I'm going to share, though, because, you know, given the more gallons, especially, um, there's only so many I really want to share that to, and I don't talk about that a whole lot more anymore either. Instead, I've left it out, and I, I've done my best to think through it. Those of you on YouTube will understand that, or some of you should, any of you that have followed me long enough to know that I'm going through it too, you've seen me, and some of you might get pissed off about it as I show the umpteen um, sync collabs that I share from here on sync. But it's because I value and appreciate them, because I love them, because I am trying to sing my way through and over more gallons as an obstacle. Okay, so let that be known. Okay, secondly, guys, I don't know if you know how much pain that you with more gallons or any of you that have had back surgery or that have meniscus wear and tear in your knees or other bad, serious bad, serious, and I'm talking serious bad health stuff. So I, I'm just mentioning the bigger stuff. There's so much more with me, and I'm not a hypochondriac, and I've been to medical school. Um, my knees, the meniscus wear and tear is caving in both knees. And as the more gallon sits on more, because I haven't told y'all this lately, because of what I experienced this morning, I feel a need to share. Because I lay there. Guys, I already knew my body was malfunctioning as I went. I say tried to go to sleep, try to eat some rest. Look at me, I'm a wreck. I know I look like shit, okay? But I'm extremely tired between my fucking Yorkie looking. She's getting old. She looks out the window, and I have a Head Start Center next door full of kids. So she looks out the window trying to find shit to bark at. My pain? You try to sleep with all this pain. Fucking, so I'm a fucking wreck at this point. I tried to sleep this morning. I knew that my vocals, I knew that my body needed to rest. I tried it as I lay down. Oh my God, guys. The locking up was in my shins, my calves, my fucking foot and leg on my right leg. Horrific. Horrific excruciating, awakening kind of pain. I already toss and turn every night. Oh my God. Significant, excruciating pain. Like, I've had three girls, okay. I know about labor. I've had about six back surgeries now. You want to talk about pain. When I was woken, I was woken by this excruciating pain. Nobody, nobody ever have to face more endure. And I wake. Remember, I live here alone. Meaning, I'm crying. I didn't scream that hard within my first labor. 
help me push me. Somebody over here, you had to hear me scream or show that they cared. I could not move my leg. Off and on for three hours, I screamed. I cried. I screamed and I cried. I'm so scared. Let me remind you, I'm used to an overwhelming amount of pain as for I do mean an extreme amount of pain as it were. I'm used to And also allow me to remind you I'm not any longer on any pain meds. I choose to self-medicate, given my workouts, my back, my knees. And I have other health shit as well. That's how I choose to try to cope with it the best I can and just think my way through it. I give my current circumstances, because I currently went on a singing marathon, if you will, I'm almost voiceless, so can't do that either right now. Guys, I... I am um, definitely empathize with anybody else going through the same. I am all, by all rights a fucking warrior at this point. I am. I know I am. As if anyone you had to survive with pain I've been through. So help me God. Nobody should ever have to endure the physical and emotional pain I have. And I hope you're not. If you are, my heart reaches to you. When I screamed, when I cried, nobody is there. And I don't know how much more pain I can take. That's all I'm going to say. And when I get on here, I'm saying, allow me to say this much. This app is in my life right for, God, what, five, six, seven years now? I doubt that I would have made it this far, considering what all I have to contend with if it had not been for this app and for you folks that are kind enough and loving enough, especially my sisters and my friends. I would not be here right now, I promise you. And I'm reaching that point that I don't know how much more pain I can take, guys. I wouldn't expect any of you to. We put down animals for less. They shouldn't have to suffer this amount of pain. I'm telling you, somebody should put me out of my misery. That's how I'm feeling. That's how excruciating this pain is. I don't mean it to break any hearts or upset anybody. But, again, I'm a bit of a realist. So I am keeping it real here. This fucking shit is painful, so you have to outweigh love and pain. And I hold on to my life for my girls because they are my love. They are my life. Oh my God, you only had to experience what I did to know how excruciating painful it was. Any one of you would have opted out and done me a favor and put me out by now. I promise you, much love to all of you. I only hope that when I follow this road, that it doesn't hurt near as bad. Much love, so